These are dangerous times. We need Kong. The world needs him. Two of these classic monsters are going head to head. That's really so exciting. It is a spectacle. It's unlike anything you've ever seen. But the beauty of this particular story is the different storylines on every character. He needs our help. There must be some way to disorient Godzilla. You can look at the film as two separate stories that intersect eventually. Team Kong and Team Godzilla. Each human story is following the monster story as well. We believe that they have an ancient rivalry. The myths say that their ancestors fought each other in a great war. Team Kong, you have Alexander Skarsgård, Kaylee Hoddle, and Rebecca Hall. They're there really to support Kong and his fight with Godzilla. The stakes are high and it's a very risky operation, but we have to go through with it. All right, Matt Hatter, down a rabbit hole. On the other end of the journey, we have Team Godzilla, Millie Bobby Brown, Brian Tyree Henry, and Jillian Dennison. And they're basically on this adventure to try find out why Godzilla is attacking. They're trying to put two and two together to figure out why is this going on. They're an amazing team. They complement each other so well. To be a part of that team is great, just trying to figure out how to actually understand Godzilla rather than trying to destroy him. I can't reach it for greatness because I'm built from it. We always saw the movie as being separated between Team Godzilla and Team Kong, and that was exciting to me doing this movie. Team Kong or Godzilla? <laughs> I'm a Kong guy. I don't know, I gotta root for Kong. Hard for me to choose, but as a Japanese person, Godzilla. I like King Kong because he's a giant monkey, and monkeys are cool. 100% Team Kong. I'm not picking sides. You don't really want to pick a side, but you kind of got to pick a side. Team Godzilla, way.